everybody, welcome back. I am going to be making an adjustable collar today. I'm going to be using uh, red biothene for the adapter and I'm trying to make it Valentine's Day kind of themed. It's going to be with a, you know, some reds, um, white and a tan. Those are the colors that I'm going to be using. I will make the, the adapter in red and I couldn't find any heart beads that I liked, so I did come across this plaque um, a couple of months ago, and it says, Dream Without Fear, Love Without Limits. It is stamped into the metal, and I did get it at uh, Michael's, and it wasn't too expensive or anything like that. I'm going to try and attach this in the middle of the collar. Now I have used plaques before, but I attached them a different way. This time I'm going to use the pericord that I'm actually working with. So we'll see how this goes. The colors that I've chosen today for this project are Imperial Red, and I have the Imperial Red um, hooked up already with the um, double cows hitch. If you're not familiar with how to do a double cows hitch, I will leave a link below. I usually don't put that in my videos because I try to make my videos as short as possible and I feel like they're just too long as it is. So I will leave a link um, so you can follow along with that part. I'm also going to be using a tan. I have a burgundy a white with burgundy diamond, and I also have um, Mindbender um, in the Imperial Red, and those are the colors that I've chosen. And we can just get started hooking the stuff up. Like I said, for the Double Cows Hitch, I have the Imperial Red solid hooked up. Next, I'm going to add the white with a burgundy diamond. And I'm going to loosen these up just a little bit. I am using a pericord needle today. If you don't have one, that's quite alright. You can still get this stuff through. It just takes a little bit longer. What you're going to want to do with your cord is you want to go in between these two cow's hitches. And I'm just going to go right, right in between them. You might have to loosen it. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go right in between those two cow's hitches from the right to the left, and I'm just going to pull this through, and then I'm going to pull this cord to its middle. The next cord that I'm going to be adding is the tan, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go from the right to the left, right in between those two cow's hitches. I'm going to run on top of that burgundy diamond, the exact same way, you're going to pull it through and pull that cord also to its middle. Finally, the mind bender in Imperial Red, I'm going to do something different. You have these two stitches right in the middle, and you're just going to go through those two. So you're actually going like right in between the t one cow's hitch, and then you're going to go underneath those two stitches and go up to the other cow's hitch. And you're just going to pull that through and also to the middle. Alright, now that we've got everything pulled to the middle, um, I do suggest you measure one more time to just double check, make sure that you are where you want to be. Um, I do also suggest that you roll up your ends. I do this with my collars and my leashes. I don't with bracelets because it's a little bit easier to work with. Um, but when you have so much to pull through, it is easier to just bundle them up a little bit. So I'm going to start with the Imperial Red or the Solid Red on my right side. And I'm going to go over this first cord on your right and then I'm going to go underneath the second cord. So I'm just going to go over and you're pretty much just going down through the middle of these two um, straight cords. 
So you're just going to go down. So you go over the first one and underneath the second one. Now I'm going to take the cord that is on my right side and I'm going to go over the cord that I just worked and I'm going to do the same thing but the mirror image. So I'm going to go over the cord that is on the left, this long one right here, and then I'm going to go underneath this right cord. So I'm going to go down through the middle again. So just down through the middle and underneath. Next I'm going to take the diamond burgundy that is on the right side and I'm going to go over all of this and I'm going to go down through the middle. So I'm going to go down through the middle and then I made this loop on the right side. I'm going to come up through that loop. I'm going to take the, the diamond on the left I'm going to do the same thing and you have this loop on your left side that you made and you're going to come up that loop. So you're going to go over everything, down through the middle, and up through that loop that you just created. I'm going to take now the tan and you have these two red horizontal pieces right here. You're just going to take your tan, you're going to go around those two horizontal pieces. So you're going to go over the two pieces and then just around them. And then you're going to come out towards the right. Take the one on the left, go around those two horizontal pieces. But this time you're going to come out towards the left. So go around them and out towards the left. Then you're going to take your mind bender and you're going to do the exact same thing. You're just going to go around those two horizontal pieces and then come out the right. Take the one on the left, go around those two red horizontal pieces and out towards the left. And now you can just tighten it up. After you've gotten it all nice and tight, we can start the second weave. So I'm going to take the imperial red on my right side and I'm going to go over the first cord, down through the middle, and then over. I'm going to take the cord on the right side now, I'm going to go over the cord that I just worked, and I'm going to go over this first cord, down through the middle, and underneath the cord on the right, there you go. Next I'm going to take the diamond and I'm going to go I'm going to go over all of this down through the middle and then back up this loop on the right. So I'm going to go over down through the middle and then up through that loop that you just made. You're going to do the same on the left side now. You're going to take your diamond, you're going to go over, down through the middle, and then up that loop. Take your tan now, and instead of going around and to the right, you're going to go around those two horizontal pieces, but you're going to go to the left of your working cord. So you're going to take your tan, go around those two horizontal pieces, again those red pieces, and then you go up through the middle. And you'll be on the left side of the work, working cord. Take the one on the left, you're going to go around those two pieces again, up through the middle, and you'll be on the left side of your cord. So you're just doing the opposite of what you just did in the last weave. And you're going to do the same with the mind bender. You're going to go over those two horizontal pieces of red and you're going to go around them and up through the middle. And then do the same with the left. Go around those two horizontal pieces and up through the middle. And now you can tighten it up. 
So I'm going to start again on my right side and I am going to go over the first chord, down through the middle, and underneath that second chord. Then I'm going to take the one on the left and I'm going to go over the chord that I just worked, down through the middle again, and over to the right. Next I'm going to take my diamond and I'm going to go over all of this, down through the middle, and then back up this loop on the right side. So I'm going to go over, down, and up. Do the same on the left with the diamond. I'm going to go over, down, and up. I'm going to take the tan now, and like I said, you're going to do, um, you're just going to keep switching back and forth. So I'm going to go around these two horizontal pieces, but this time I'm going to go out the right side instead of the left. So I'm going to take my tan, go around, and then out towards the right. On the left, I'm going to take my tan go around those pieces and out to the left. Do the same with the mind bender. You're going to go around those pieces and go to the right with the right cord and then the left with the left cord. Just go around and to the left and now you can tighten it up. So I am going to continue this weave until I am at um, the point where I want to put on my um, plaque and then I will show you guys how I'm going to do that. I am now um, seven and a quarter inches down from the top of my um, collar and I'm going to put on the plaque now and I'm just going to start this weave off just like I've been doing all the other weaves. So I'm going to take the red on the right side and I'm going to go down in between the two and then take the one on the left, go over the cord that I worked, down in between the two and then out. Take the diamond, go over, down the middle and up through. Take the one on the left, go over, down through the middle and up through. Take your tan and I'm going to go, so where I landed, I have to go um, to the left with my tan or to the middle. So I'm going to go over those two horizontal pieces, up through the middle, the same on the left, around and up through the middle. I unrolled my mind bender cords and I'm just going to take both ends and I'm just going to slip it through the plaque and pull it from the front to the back. Then I'm just going to lay it down on top of the collar and I'm just going to do um, th the next weave. So I'm going to take my mind bender on the right and I'm going to go over those two horizontal pieces and pull it through the middle. Take the one on the left over those two horizontal pieces and to the middle. And then I'm going to just tighten it up. I'm going to go down two and a half inches from where the plaque is and I'm going to just flip over and attach it um, using the mind bender cords. So I'm going to go down a few and then I'll show you how I attach it. I'm at the spot where I'm going to attach the plaque and what I decided to do is do the weave until I got to the mind bender and I'm going to use the mind bender again to attach the other side of the plaque. I'm just going to take the ends of the mind bender and I'm just going to slip it through this little slit on the top of the plaque um, from the back to the front and I can get both of them in at the same time. 
which is kind of nice. I don't have to do one at a time. I'm going to pull this through. Now I'm just going to finish this weave off and tighten it up and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what the other end looks like, all nice and tight. And I'm going to continue this weave all the way down the collar and when I am done, I will show you guys how I do the tie off and show you guys what it looks like when it's finished. Alright, I'm at the end of my collar. I took it off the jig and we can just start sewing in the ends. The ends that I'm going to be sewing in are the tan and the mindbender red, which are coming out of the top part of the collar. I'm starting with the tan on my right side um, and I am using uh, a pericord needle for this. You have a gap between your worked and then the two cow hitches on the top. You're just going to stick that tan right through and you're going to do that for the other one on the opposite side. After you've gotten both tans through that gap, you're going to take your mind bender now and you have a small hole in between your two cow's hitches. And you're going to go through that hole that you have right there, right through your cow's hitches. And you're just going to pull that through and you're going to do the same for the other cord of mind bender. And if you have any hard time with getting your cord through that, uh, tiny hole, you can always pull on your mind bender that you just put through and if you pull on that down, you end up making a, um, a, a small gap. You make that gap a little bit bigger so you can fit your other cord through. What I like to do when I cut and burn, burn the cords, I do like to start on the sides of my work first. And I'm going to cut about a half an inch, quarter of an inch up from the collar. I also like to fray them out. I think it makes a better cap. And I'm just going to cut that. I'm sorry, I'm going to burn them and then I'm going to squish them down. I have a butter knife that I use. And I do one at a time. You don't want it to catch on fire or anything like that, or try not to, I've done that before. And you're just going to squish it down, and it should stick. I'm going to do the same for the next. I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. Now for the middle. I'm just going to um, do one at a time and I'm going to do a half an inch down and burn them and squish them down with the knife. And like I said, I'm just going to do one at a time until they're all done. done uh, burning it. Um, I'll let it cool off a little bit, make sure it's not like hot to the touch or anything. And then I'm going to be using um, clear non-foaming Gorilla Glue. I use this on all of my collars and leashes. Um, it gives a little bit of extra security to it. If you don't have this and you want to use your collar right away, you can. This is just something extra that I like to do. And I just put a little bit on the sides that I burnt and squashed down. I put my finger and rub it around and I let this dry. And it takes about four hours right now where I live for this to dry. It might be a little bit longer or shorter wherever you live. Once this is dry, I will put on the adapter and I will let you guys see what the finished color looks like. 